I've been reviewing the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite over the past few days, video to come soon by the way, and it just so happens to have Android One. I didn't really know what this was, so I thought I'd look it up and make a video explaining it, because all the articles seem to have millions of ads on them. So the first question is, what is Android One? Well, most phones these days come with a third-party skin, such as Samsung and LG software, that adds a layer on top of Android because the underlying OS is still the same, but you'll get a different user experience and a different layout. You might get different menus, different functionality, and some featureful skins, such as TouchWiz, come on a lot of high-end phones. But you might see a lot of slowdown and security breaches due to lack of upkeep over time. Android One, on the other hand, is an unmodified version of Android that Google puts on certain phones. They'll closely integrate on a selection of smartphones from a variety of manufacturers with the Android One branding, and these devices will look a lot closer to stock than you might expect. They'll be close to the kind of software you find on Pixel phones, and will also bring Google's latest innovations in Google software, such as Google Assistant, AI-driven battery performance increases, and of course, Google Lens. Any device running it will lack some extra software features that will be found in those Samsung and Xiaomi and LG variants. And don't feel like those don't exist. My good friend over at the Lover of Tech channel, Ben, does talk about how Pixel software just seems to be a bit bland and a little bit too boring. And I can certainly agree, but it's again subjective. Next question, how do I get Android One? Well, you'll have to buy one of Google's sanctioned mobile devices. And a lot of these are low end to mid tier phones, although there are some flagships out there. And the funny thing is Android One has actually been out for a couple of years, uh, but most of these devices you will see are surprisingly not flagships. There are Xiaomi's, Motorola's, Nokia's, although a notable device that has recently been released is the LG G7 One from LG, which takes a bit of a feature hit, but is for the most part, one of the most mainstream phones on the list and is most likely to be picked up by the mainstream media. Why is Android One a thing? Well, entry-level and mid-range smartphones get a bad reputation, and that's for a good reason. In my opinion, they're just bad. I will not recommend and I will actively hate on mid-range and low-end smartphones from the likes of Samsung and LG just because their software is such a bad experience. The hardware's pretty good. Some of them even have glass backs and IP ratings, but that software is just awful. And that's where Android One comes in. Because those lower-end third-party solutions might make Android have a bad rep for essentially just running Android, and of course these phones aren't gonna be secured and they're not gonna be updated over the long term. But if Google can put that software on a select few phones that it sanctions, then it is then able to control which phones get the updates and that can improve Android's overall image. Should I buy a phone with Android One? If you're looking for a brand new phone between £100 and £200, I absolutely recommend it. I urge you to at least look into these Android One devices. I've used so many mid-range Samsungs, LGs and Sonys that are even just six months old with ridiculous slowdown that you just wouldn't expect from something like this. And I've used multiple year-old Nexus devices that, well, just work, even if the feature set is a bit limited. So that was my take on Android One. Google's proprietary software that is basically just stock Android on some of the phones that you will love to see from Xiaomi, Nokia, and LG. They're not gonna be on the really high end, such as OnePlus 6, as that's running its own software, Samsung's Note 9, stuff like that, but what you're getting is a great experience at a low price. Just imagine Google Play devices, but kind of on the lower end, kind of mixed with Nexus devices, and that's what I like about this. I'm a fan of stock Android, I'm a fan of non-stock Android, and I'm a fan of iOS, and there are limits to all of them and great features of all of them, but with stock Android, you just get this, this psychological connection with Pixel devices that are usually, and I say usually because the Pixel 2 XL fiasco recently, are super, super fast and fluid and they get updates and it's just fantastic. But it's that link between those Pixel devices and the software that makes Android One work really well on these lower end phones that might not be very powerful, but they're very fluid, very quick and very optimized just like, let's say, iOS on Apple devices. And that's been about it from me, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you're new around here to never miss a video like this one. Please do follow my social media because it helps me out. We're trying to get to 1K on both my socials by the end of the year. I want to thank my patrons for your amazing support. You have really continued to help the channel grow, and I'm so thankful for that. Also, check out a previous or random video because that's always cool as well. My name's Ryan Thomas from Failtech, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.